American Abroad Collecting Currency Abroad on Fancy Serial Numbers channel. You can see the stack in front of you is all notes that I pulled from circulation. Customer came and did a dump. I call them customer dumps. They turn them into euros. They don't want them anymore. Sad part is that these would be thrown out back out into circulation or would be sent to the bank that we use and would be destroyed. More than likely sent out back into circulation to be wrinkled, damaged, uh, torn, written on, etc. This is a 1988A Boston series. You can see it over there. Casting shadows on Lincoln's face here, almost blocking him out of view. But that's the lighting that I have to deal with here. Um, beautiful note. It's almost 30 years old because the series 1990 came out. That would be the next series. And so that means that these are literally almost 30 years old. Absolutely nothing to uh, complain about shape-wise or condition-wise. This one does have a tiny little nick on the upper left corner here. It's really hard to show it to you guys, but there's a tiny little nick where it must have bumped into something. And um, these notes in this condition, I'm assuming, are at least worth double face. Here in the European Union or in Switzerland, I'm assuming they might even be go up to three times face value. On the back, you can see here, once again, the Lincoln Memorial. There were no errors, no star notes, unfortunately. I have, that's the second one, this would be a series 1995. These ones are, in that sense, almost 25 years old because the next series would have been 96 when I went to the non-colorized large face version. So that's the third note. Some of these are in order. That's the fourth note. Here's a serial number 41459141. That's the fifth note. Here's 4-4, four, four. I think that's the sixth note. Here's where they start actually going in numerical order. There's so many that my little display thing is actually starting to collapse. If you can see it pulled to the middle there on second. Let's get it like that. That's another one there. Forty-six. 47. Oh, let's actually just take it out of the holder and show you that way, guys. 47. 49. Some of the ones that don't run in order are ones that I had that were basically not in the best shape. I tried to put these actually in numerical order. You can see it goes from 5.6 to 6.0 here, um, both front and back, so 6.05. And that's 92 there. So I tried to really. Um, Put these ones. This one has like really, it's raised close up to the America part there. You can see we're up in the 944, and then it goes to E for Richmond, Virginia, F for Atlanta, Georgia, 1990, 1530. If it would have been 1230, we would have had a birthday note, but it had to be 1530 and 1531 here. 1532, those ones are running in sequential. 1533, that's the fourth one in sequential, that order there. These ones are sticking actually together. 34, the fifth one in sequential, 35, must have not either been there or in bad shape, 36, 37, and then you get to G for Chicago, Illinois, another Chicago, Illinois, another Chicago, a St. Louis, Missouri, an L for San Francisco, California, 95. And then I had, there was also a couple $10 bills. There was probably about $120 in $10 bills and probably over 205s. These were the best ones. This is A, Boston, B, New York. This is a 93, as you can see in the bottom, and also a Boston 314. I'm still looking for that pie note, 15927. So it was about 5,000 away from being the pie note. These notes are absolutely beautiful, stunning. They remind me of my childhood, very nostalgic, make me very nostalgic. And I love the look of them. It's what real money looked like and was. And I just want to say thank you guys for watching this video. And I hope you're finding great notes out there. And to come into my collection, they have to be in really, really spiffy shape. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Uh, American Abroad Collecting Currency Abroad, signing off.